Want to edit your Revit data way faster than before? Here are some tips on how to efficiently query and modify the Revit database. We will go over how to create a database view and how to modify the database content. Let's walk through how to create a database view. First let's start database editor by clicking on the icon inside the Archie toolbar. All the categories, including the parameters and their properties, are now loaded in the database editor. Some of the available parameters are hidden in Revit, but through the API, they can now be visible in the database editor. Then click on a category, for instance floors. Select the parameters that you want to include in the view by checking them in the category browser. Or simply open the field selector if you prefer to choose parameters like in Revit. Select and add the parameters you wish to include in your view. And then click apply and close. Read only parameters are visible as grayed out columns and are great for accessing reporting data. The sorting, grouping and filtering of the columns is done directly from the view. Let's click on the type header to sort that column. Let's now group by floor types by simply dragging the column header to the grouping area above. One can continue to group as necessary by dragging other columns. Finally, let's have a look on how can the data be filtered. By right-clicking on the column header area one finds the filter editor that allows combining very complex conditions for all the columns. The find panel that allows searching for text in all the columns and just showing those rows. And finally the very versatile search function called auto filter row. Let's now take a moment and have a look on how this row filtering tool can help us to find the rows we are interested in. Let's say we are interested in floors belonging to types containing the thickness 180 mm. We now see only the elements types with that specific thickness in the type name. If we would like to filter further we could add other rules to other columns. Now that we are happy with this view, we can save it permanently by giving it a name. And pressing the save button. Now that we went through different ways to find and organize the data, let's explore how easy it is to do the modifications. By using the editor's lightweight spreadsheet interface, one can edit one or multiple cells at once. Let's start adding a value to the comments column, and click enter. The value is then modified in the Revit model and we are also ready to change the cell under, just like in Excel. Let's say we want to the same value for all the next 20 elements. We can copy and paste using the clipboard. Because we are using the clipboard, we can copy multiple cells from any other spreadsheet, for instance Excel, and paste it into Revit. If we need to delete the content of multiple cells, including across multiple columns, we just select them and press the delete button. Super fast and error free. Let's now explore how to use the search and replace function to change the first letter on the mark values from F to S in all elements. Click on the replace button. Let's look for the character F and replace it with S inside the column mark. And finally click the replace all button. The values have now been adjusted in all the elements that match the search. With this knowledge you can go ahead and modify one cell, or thousands of cells, like you would do using Excel. But without leaving Revit, all modifications are validated, making the whole process error-free, and the changes are visible on your model instantly. Now that you know a little about editing larger amounts of data in a fraction of the time you can discover even more ways of using Database Editor. For more helpful tips like this subscribe to the Archie support channel, or click a video to keep on watching now.